Hispanics and Native Americans need to hear the truth because we have been lied to by the people that we trust the most in our communities, man. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, started out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization, and we teach the truth according to the Bible. And that's that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's people, the 12 tribes of Israel. And according to this same book, it also says that the oppressor, the slave master, the same race of people as that racist devil, Peyton Gendron, are the devil the Bible speaks of. And you see that you black, Hispanic, and Native American, I know you see what happened in Buffalo where that racist devil went and murdered 10 innocent black people for no reason. I know you see that and you wonder to yourself, how are these things able to happen to our people time and time after again? Black people are getting confused about why this is happening. You know why we confuse? Because we have never done to white people what they have done to us, what they continue to do to us. So we can't understand why, we, why do they hate us so much? Why do they want to murder our innocent children and elderly, man? That damn devil was a coward. He scouted out that neighborhood and he knew that that neighborhood didn't have brothers on the block. It didn't have brothers on the corner. He knew that neighborhood was a neighborhood full of elderly, elderly black people. Black people who were a little bit well off, lower middle class black people. He didn't go to the projects. He didn't go to the hood, you know why? Because he knew that is where black men were still there. You understand? And he understood that maybe if I go to the projects of the hood, I may not be able to have as much of an easy target versus going somewhere where it's easy to kill. These oppressors think like hunters, man. And blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we've been trained to look at these oppressors as something holy, as a people that you can trust and love and to bring your family around, and to take to your church, and to be friends with. None of them will come here and denounce what a brother of their race did to black people. You know why? Because they all feel the exact same way. They all hate black people. They all hate it, and they can't come and prove it otherwise. You understand? You know why? Because it's true, and the Bible says it. This is why we're destroyed. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. While we've been singing and dancing for 400 years in that stinking Christian church, in that whorehouse called the Catholic Church, we never learn the reality of who we deal with on an everyday basis. We never learn who to love like the Bible says and who to not trust like the Bible says. We never learn how to survive in life. You understand, you know why? Because the pastors are working for the oppressors. You understand, our so-called black leaders are $2 whores for America. For the right price, they will tell black people anything to make sure the American way continues. Well, what is the American way? What happened in Buffalo? What happened in Buffalo is the American way. And as black people, I know that's a hard pill to swallow because we don't want to believe that the place that we have sacrificed in love for so long and that we want to be a part of feels that way about us. Well, guess what? Here's the difference between us and our forefathers and foremothers. They knew the oppressor was the devil. That's right. You understand? They understood that. You may look at our foremothers and forefathers and you may criticize them for the mistakes they made. But I tell you this, one thing that they knew better than us in this generation, they knew the oppressor is the devil. They knew not to trust the people who hung us from light poles and trees. They knew not to trust the people who enslaved our people. They knew not to trust the people who lied on us and got in Congress and passed laws to systematically oppress our people, right. who put crack in our neighborhoods, right. and then turned around and said it's a war on drugs. Right. Our forefathers and foremothers knew something that we didn't know. And we didn't know this because we have been more and more indoctrinated by Christianity more than ever. You understand? You want to know why we destroyed? Read. Go on, come. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed. For lack of knowledge. The Bible says my people. The word my is a possessive pronoun. Which means that there is a people that belong to God. You didn't know that, did you? I know the Christian church, on top of all the other lies they told us, they told us that God loves everybody. That we are God's children. Well, that's not in the Bible. If you can show me that God loves everybody and we are his children in the Bible, we'll pack up and leave right now. But you know what you'll find out? 
your Christian pastor is ill-equipped to teach God's words because he's in it for what he wants and not what God wants. And that's why there's no real change in the black community. You never thought about that? We got black churches all throughout our neighborhoods. So why are our people fixed? Why aren't we changed? I thought the church was the place that you go to change and get better. I thought the place was the place you go, the church is the place you go for the sick. If you go to a hospital and you leave out sick, wouldn't you say that's a problem? If you go into the hospital with an ailment and you leave out with an ailment, you would say that's a problem. That hospital is not really doing its job. Well, how come we don't look at the church and charge the churches, charge the black Christian leaders and the black Christian pastors for failing to do their job, for sitting in a seat and not warning God's people and teaching them the truth? This is why we destroyed. The Bible tells us why our communities are in shambles. Read, brother. From the mouth of God, you understand? God's words. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 5, 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God said his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Not because we jumped out of high school. You understand? You may think because you didn't go to college that you know that's why your life is terrible. You may think because you didn't go and, and go to trade school like you were supposed to when you went and got pregnant and you kept the baby when your mama wanted you to abort it. You think all these other reasons are the reason why our people are destroyed. That's not what this Bible is talking about. The knowledge that we lack is the knowledge found in this book. The wisdom that God has given his people that we refuse to acknowledge, that we continue to ignore. You understand? What do you think the Lord left this book here for? Just for a centerpiece decoration in your mama and grandmama's house to collect dust? Now, this book contains power. And that's why it's the best-selling book of all time. And every race of people tries to identify themselves with the people in this book. But they are not the people in this book. God's people are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And he says we are destroyed because we don't even know who our enemy is. We don't know that we're God's people and that we have laws to follow. We don't know that we're not supposed to integrate with the people that are so hateful and so murderous and evil as these people are. That damn devil killed so many of our people, man, innocently. He didn't kill young, strong black people. He killed the elderly because he knew they were easy targets. And that's who they've always been, cowards. They have been cowards, man. They put on the front and they make it seem like they love you and they, they, you know, you can be friends with them, when in actuality, they hate you, black man. Give me Psalms 55 and 20. They hate you. Every single one of these oppressors feels the exact same way as that devil who murdered those 10 black people. It's just some of them are better at hiding it than others. Integration was a failure. Martin Luther King's dream is a nightmare for black people. You understand? It was a nightmare. Even the fact that we have to convince black people to support black businesses lets you know we didn't go forward, we didn't progress. We've gone backwards. Because prior to integration, our only option was to go to black businesses. We was making each other rich, patronizing our own people. And America seen the power that we had when we were amongst ourselves. And America, just like always, the oppressor thinks of how he can destroy you, black man. You think they're talking about major business in that Congress up in these uh, Senate halls in D.C. They are discussing how they can continue to do destroy you. And you, you don't want to believe it because you've been taught by the Christian pastor. When if you understood what God is saying, you would know that everything that America does revolves around you, black man. If they legalize weed, it's a trap for you, black man. You understand? If they raise the speed limit, it's a trap for you, black man. Anything that they do in America is meant to destroy God's people because that's the way America thrives. America thrives the same way it was founded, by the murder and destruction of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you can't trust anything that comes out of these devils' mouths. God told us you can't trust what comes out of their mouths. This is why. Read. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 20. He has put forth his hands against such as to be at peace with them. The Bible says these colonizers put forth their hands with those that be at peace with him. This is describing what that devil, Peyton Gendry, did before he murdered 10 black people in Buffalo. You go read, and it tells you how before he killed those 10 black people, the day before, 
he went and scouted out the whole area and he was talking to black people. He went and portrayed himself as friendly. He went and portrayed himself as a so-called ally. I know black people, you think white people can be allies. You understand? Well, Peyton Gentry was an ally in, in our, our eyes. You understand? Right. You understand? You understand? Read that. Come on, come. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 55, verse 20. And this, this is the problem. You think because he can cite Gucci Man lyrics, he an ally. A white boy do a little couple dances on TikTok, and he know a few rap songs, and all of a sudden now he's invited to the cookout. All of a sudden he's not racist. Thank you, brother. Well, listen, every single one of these devils feel the same way as Peyton Gendron. You know why? Because none of them will stop to denounce what they have done. If these were white people standing up here speaking about a black man that murdered white people, you know all of all black people will stop and say, we're not all the same. Well, what can I do to make you see that we're not all the same? You know why? Because we would denounce the evil that our people have done. These oppressors don't feel any type of way because they agree with what was done. Let me tell you something, man. If you're a white man and you hear what I'm saying, you are a coward. You understand? And I'll tell you why. Because at least Peyton Gendron, he went and did it. He was, a, he was man enough to go and admit that he hates black people. You devils down here in D.C., you put on the front and try to be all politically correct when you feel the same goddamn way, but you're too much of a goddamn coward to say it with your chest. No sweat. The Lord is revealing who your people are. And blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are starting to finally see you for the snake you are. The Bible says you put your hands against those that be at peace with you. The same thing you did to our Native American brothers when you came over here. That's you came right. over here and acted like you was friendly. That's you right. acted like you was an ally. And then you tricked and murdered our Native American brothers. That's right. 77 million of them. And then took their land and now you call them illegal immigrants. Yeah. Now you got them on reservations which are concentration camps. You put your hands against those that be at peace with you, man. You seen that those black people were so loving and friendly to you. Those black people welcomed you with open arms. The same way we did in South Carolina when Dylan Storm Roof went into that black church. He went into that black church. You know what black people did? Look, they seen the skin tone and black people didn't say, oh, this, this is a white boy in the black church. We shouldn't look at him crazy. You know what black people did? They welcomed him with open arms with love and compassion. And they prayed for him, and they anointed his head, and they sat by him, and they sung sweet songs to white Jesus. And you know what he did? A couple of minutes later, he murdered him. The Bible is describing these devils. And this is why the Christian church doesn't teach the Bible. You understand? Because if the Christian church taught the Bible, you would know who your real enemy is, black man. A fellow black man is not your enemy. You are a coward. If you can get buck with a fellow black man while there are devils running around here murdering our people in gas stations and supermarkets, in Congress, you don't think the laws they passing is not affecting us? They doing the same thing just with a pen. You understand? They sitting in Congress right now and they write legislation that murders black men, that destroys black lives. They got Hispanic children in cages right now. What would America do if there were five white babies in cages? Right. America would go to war. Right. But they let our Hispanic babies sit in cages. You know why? Because they all feel the same way that Buffalo Shooter feels. That's right. And when you see these devils, you read, you remember this scripture what the Lord was trying to tell us about these oppressors. Read this. This is describing the so-called colonizer. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 20. He had put forth his hands against such has to be with, at peace with him. Has he broken his covenant? He broken all his covenants. When the oppressor came over here, you know how many treaties they made with the Native Americans? They made all types of treaties. And they broke every last one. And right. they slaughtered the Native Americans. Right. It's the same thing politicians do now. When they get elected, they tell black people all types of lies. You understand, if Joe Biden said, if you don't blow for, vote for me, you ain't black. You got some goddamn nerves, sleepy Joe. Always tired Joe. Right. Then the Asians get stop Asian hate. And, and the gays get legislation. And you, Ukraine get $40 billion. Thank you, brother. Meanwhile, D.C. and Baltimore and Detroit look just like Ukraine. You mean to tell me we can't get no aid? Right. 
When they give black people money, it's we, we lazy. And we just shiftless and we need to go to work. And we on welfare. Well, goddammit, you Ukrainians need to go to goddamn work and stop begging all the time. Why the hell you always got some handouts? You always want you, you goddamn Ukrainians always asking for a handout. That's right. You understand? Do what us black people had to do. Get it out the goddamn mud. Yeah, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You understand? Right. Right. You understand this? You come over here. And you was at war with America, but America let you in when they murder and oppress our Hispanic brothers. You don't see that there's clearly a people that they hate. They can, they can do business with everybody else, but when it comes to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, there's an innate hatred that they have. Keep reading. And the Bible tells us this. You didn't know the Bible says the oppressor is the devil, did you? Your pastor ain't teaching that. Yeah. While he in there teaching you to sing and dance, and while you know all the songs, you understand? I know you think that man, your pastor is a man of God because he can sing so well. And his, his sermons just move your spirit. But you ain't learning nothing, man. He not teaching you what God wanted his people to know. And that's why it was easy for that devil to murder 10 black people. Because if we would have knew the Bible, we would be on high alert when the Lord told us our enemy came around us. The Lord says the white man is our enemy. And if we knew what the Bible said, you wouldn't have 10 black innocent lives taken right now. You understand? We wouldn't have been integrated with them in the first place. Because we would know that God wants us separated. Keep reading what God says about these oppressors. The words of his mouth. Right. Were smoother than butter. If we would have followed the Bible and knew who our enemy was, Peyton Gendry would have had to cross the tracks, you understand, to come over here. Right. The same way we had to in segregation times. You understand? But now we welcome them with open arms. Yeah. Full of Martin Luther King's dream, we are. Yeah. You understand? Full of his dream. Right. And right now, those 10 families are living a nightmare. Right. right now, they have to look at the fact that they allow this damn devil to come around and act like he was so sweet and innocent and he murdered us innocently. You think that's just gonna happen in Buffalo, New York? Let me tell you right now, if you black and Hispanic or Native American and you listening to the sound of my words, don't think this won't happen in DC. Don't think these devils won't get the courage to now do the same thing they did in Buffalo in DC. You'll find out in that day just who the devil is. Don't wait till it's too late. You understand? Don't Read it. Go, go. Right, when will you get the courage to love your brother, man? That's what it's going to take. It don't matter how many guns you got. That brother that was working in the store was a trained, retired police officer as a security guard. And even he was murdered by the damn devil. You understand? It has to come to the point where now you have to realize we need brotherhood. We have to love each other more than them. That's what's going to save us, man. That's, right. That's what's going to fix us. That's, right. That's what's going to protect us. Definitely. Love for each other, man. Love for God's people the way the Bible says. Read. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Butter. That devil Peyton Gendron went the day before to talk to those black people. And do you think he went and said, oh, hey, 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 Mr. Black Man, hey, Blackie, I'm going to murder you tomorrow. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. You know what he did? He went and portrayed himself to be friendly. Mm -hmm. He used those smooth words. He used that professional white man talk. Right. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. He probably quoted a few rap lyrics, did a dab a couple times, yeah. made, made you feel real comfortable around him, and black people were just, he was talking to black people all day. You understand? <laughs> That's right, brother. His words are smoother than butter. Keep reading. But war was in his heart. Let this noise pass. This is talking about the Buffalo shooter right here. His words were smoother than butter, but war, what? War, what? War, war. While we think that we all need, you know, we want to live here in peace and harmony, we don't understand that we are living in a war. We are casualties of war because we don't know there's a war being waged against us. We are dying left and right because we don't understand that Read. war was in his heart. War is in the heart of every last one of these oppressors. Right. Black man, I know we think we, we, we warriors, you understand? I know we think we, we the top shot and the top shooter in the neighborhood. 
You understand? I know we think we the kingpin and the dun daughter and all that good stuff. I hate to break it to you. You are not ready for war the way these oppressors are ready for war. These oppressors trained to shoot as children. Yeah. You understand? They trained to shoot and how to survive in the woods. You understand? And how to live with, with minimal food. Shoot and kill. And how to shoot and kill. What are we doing while at young ages? Hmm? What are we taught to do as black people at a young age? Dance and sing. Yeah. You understand? Dance All of it, 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 it comes from the Christian church. The Christian church teaches us that in order for us to make it in America, you gotta dribble a ball. You gotta dance and sing. You gotta be more American. You gotta be more like this place. You understand? Well, guess what? Right, you gotta love everybody. They're all right, brother. Well, guess what? That's not what they teach their children. They teach their children to love their own people, to fight for their rights, to stand up against tyranny and oppression. That's white Christianity. You know what black Christianity teaches? For us to be slaves under those same white people. For us to turn the other cheek. Right now, the families of those of, of those 10 black brothers and sisters who were murdered, right now, they, they are in church, and the pastor is telling them that they gotta forgive Peyton Gendron. They gotta forgive because he knew not what he did. You gotta forgive him, you understand? Because he knew not what he did. He did know what he was doing. He drove three hours to get there. He wrote an 180 page manifesto. But your pastor gonna say he I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper, told it, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order